What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucky. We're playing more Dragon's Dogma. T Sorry, I almost said two because I'm thinking about it so much. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. So, there's a couple more quests I want to do, actually. I know last episode I said we were going to go in there and continue the main story, but we've got so much stuff going on here. Um, and there's something I noticed here. The reward for this quest is a silver idol, and I think that might be one of the idols that we can give to... Um, excuse me. Uh, to the merchant in town here of Grand Soren, and we'll get a new cache of weapons from him. So we're going to go do that. It's called Put the Eye Out. We've got an ogre. It's all the way out where we've already been before at the Shadow Fort. And I left a port crystal there. Thank the Lord. So let's go and rough him up. And then we might do a couple more quests because I see some more items. It would be really nice to have. And the thing with this um, game is once you progress past a certain point, some quests will be lost forever. So if you really want to do a quest, it's best to just stop and do it. The main story will wait for you, but the side quest won't wait for the main story. Is known as the Shadow Fort, built to ward against the Goblin. We got that dragon out here in the Devil Fire Grove too. Eventually we'll fight him. We might be able to take him if we tried really hard and got enough healing and stamina items. Ooh, very cool music here. I really like the mix of Western instruments, like the guitar and stuff like that, with Eastern melodies and themes. That seems to be what's going on, and I really like it. Kind of a depressing place. Well, a couple of guards for this big old castle. That was an epic fight we had with Goffman Commander, though, in here. I need any of that crap. So it's on my level. Is this the right way? I thought it was in the bottom. It's down below on the first floor. Because the quest said it was down below the castle here. So where is there a way down? Let's look around. Huh. Huh. There we go. No. Chimera Strategy Volume 1. Nothing in here. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and we'll go to the second floor and maybe we gotta come back down from someplace over there. <coughs> Excuse me. out there. Can't go through there yet. Oh, maybe we go down here. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe we gotta go all the way down this side. Though that makes little sense to me, but yeah, that juice. And then the Goblin Commander was in here. He jumped out the window. That's pretty much the run of the castle, I thought. I'm missing something here. What's going on? Goblins, no doubt. Yeah. Hmm, what's that? Well, yeah. I don't know. You go mine it though. Oh, my camera was on 
stutter. Nothing. <clears throat> well, I'm super confused, guys. Oh, down here. Okay, I can go right here. There we go. Yeah. Fr into the frontier caverns. Oh, so we haven't discovered this place yet. I just got a trophy for that. Take care. From here on, the caves fall in the goblins. I've never been here, guys. This is cool. It's hard to see. Whoa! 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 I don't know if I've ever heard of Devil Wart yet. You! Come to me. Ooh, I'm almost dead. Wait. Devil wart. I'm gonna take all the devil wart. We're gonna see what it's used for right now. Should be all the way down here, huh? Combine it with other materials. Stone moss poultice. Right, anyways. Hmm, what's that? There's a ton of it down here for a reason, so we're gonna take all of it. Rift fragment, iron blade pieces. Just raid this place. Put sure my lantern on. I see much better now. <clears throat> What's up here? Look at all this gold. All this gold. Huge. 1,000. That is the biggest coin purse I've ever seen. Giant coin pouch. Liquid Vim. Who took that liquid Vim? You did. Look at that. Gotta have my liquid vim. Oh, what are you guys doing up there? Taking more stuff? What's that? I'll take that. Huh, it's a good place to resupply if you need to get stuff. This? It is far stronger than a common goblin. Burn them! Flame on. That guy just yeah. threw a throw blast at him. That was pretty cool. There he is. Let's, uh, whoops. I actually want to go to my curatives. I want to heal up here. Let's go get him. I'm waiting for him. The gate stands open. I'm loading the proving ground. Just light him up. I can just sit on him. Look at that. Oh, well, maybe not because I'm out of stamina. Where's that liquid vim? Right there. Pay for it, whip it off! We gotta heal. Let's have the top one. 
It's very strong. It's really that strong. Let's knock some of this armor off. See here, where is more stamina? It's getting a little over and cumbersome. So you can climb up here. What's up here? Oh, you can just probably climb up here and jump on the ogre and make it really cool. <laughs> Fell in the hay. This Get, looks interesting. Get out of there. Oh, God. It's Smell easy. Death hangs heavy here. You see how your pawns will just take your items? You gotta be real careful with that. Because if they die, then all of a sudden they're lost with that item. You don't get it. Find magic buckler. Cool. And somebody's picking up liquid vim. These guys find all that stuff really easily. So I don't know if we can ever even go through here. I've never you found this cavern before. Especially given the location. For what purpose was this place built? Seems to be an arena of sorts. Hmm. Okay, well, let's travel back to Grand Soren. See if we can go. There's the silver idol. To do business with a talented artisan. Yeah. Where are those ru runic bucklers? Runic bands you just took, bangles. Let's see if they're any good. Uh, they're kind of okay. Magic defense goes up, magic goes up. Defense goes way down. A lot of other stuff goes way down. Not worth it. Metal bracelets etched with incantations that ward against calamity. Cool. Well, <clears throat> let's get out of here and travel back to Grand Sworn. We'll go see the merchant and see what kind of new wares he has. of a magic item <clears throat> yeah I think I just assumed last my first playthrough and only playthrough this game before that uh, that tunnel was just part of getting into the main quest on the goblin commander and when you go and try to take the castle back so I didn't do anything with it because I thought it was gonna be like the other ones where you had a character had to be small enough to fit through the hole seems this is where the merchants live. <laughs> it's quite open which is a really cool dynamic. Also, the bigger and taller your character is, the faster they can run. Little things like that are awesome in this game. 
an idol. By the maker, give it here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, this will do nicely. I shall make for the weaponsmith with all speed. Your efforts will not go unrewarded, Arisen. When next we speak, you should find my selection quite more to your liking. The master works all. You can't go wrong. Come again. Well, we'll go nice. 7,000 and 15,000 gold. That's really good. So we'll go and uh, talk to the innkeeper and figure this stuff out while he gets that settled. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Understood. Rest till morning. Your follower has returned from assisting another arisen in another realm. That's cool. <laughs> Few comments of reward sent by arisen who have hired your pawn with Square. Thank you. I got a copper ore from her. An unfamiliar quest, an unfamiliar location. She gave me a five star rating. My thanks. That's really cool, man. I'm going to start doing that too. I'll start ranking and rating them before I wasn't doing it. You will obtain the experience and items the pawn gained while away. Continue. All gifts were sent to your item storage. That's so cool. I brought this back for you. Isn't that cool? That's the first time anybody's ever used my pawn. I've learned new techniques against that foe. I, and I got 10,000 realm power. credits for it? it Holy smokes. And skills besides. So that's why you want to make sure your pawns are maxed out, What's upgraded, this? have the best stuff they can possibly have, so other people will want to use them and you get more realm crystals. Smart to get in good with you right about now. Huh? The rift crystals, excuse me. Just a chief. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? That's cool, man. That's one of the coolest things about this game. Let's see if there's any new dagger moves here. We're not max vocation yet. Pure edition. Might be worth it. Now these ones are the ones I'm curious about. Lure. Yeah, I mean, that's really all I want to get for those guys, for now. You know, just a couple of things to really cap them off for the moment. Class is full on Mage, so we might switch him to something different here. Um, what will it be today? Whoops, I'm going to set the other skill for... Backfire... Oops. Resilience and Regeneration. We'll see how good that regeneration one is. Your pick, any you like. We can always change our vocation too. Magic archer, we've almost got that fully done, so we're gonna stick with that. Mage, he's got that completed. Sorcerer. So they can't be as in depth as ours are. They can only be like Strider, Fighter, Mage, Warrior. What is the difference? Advanced vocation. A mage adept at all forms of magic, including punishing offensive spells. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that and switch him to Sorcerer. Oh, give him the crown. I mean, we want high magic with him, so anything that ups our magic... Oh, that thing's way better. Look at that. And it looks cool, too. And this is even cooler. 
set of salvation robes. They're actually nicer. Wow. Salvation robes are the nicest ones I have for him, huh? It's a shame. I guess because they're an all-in-one kind of thing. Have your pick, any you like. What will it be today? Have your pick, what will it be today? <clears throat> Favorite flower. Well, let's just go see what, will it be today? what new ones pick? he has Come for us to... over at the shop now. Yeah, mage will have more offensive power, be stronger, be awesome. What do you got now? Me, I've no luck. Iron and steel hold. The master works all. Nothing, huh? That's interesting. The master works all. You can't go wrong. because I want to get rid of those salvation robes as possible and feel dirty wearing them. Well, let's go rest again. A fellow with just a chin. Have your pick. What will it be to Understood. Because I thought for sure if we rested once that he would have our stuff, but sometimes in this game, it's not just up to resting one day. Like, I think most monsters respawn every three days in this game, boss monsters. Other things, it takes up if to a week. Draws, especially if it's steel. The master works all. Okay, the so we're gonna have to go do something else, again. I guess. Like a quest or something. Why am I so heavy? Let's go drop all this crap off. And then we'll go do another quest, and then we'll come back to him. And maybe it'll be done. Just to have your pick, any you like. What will it be today? What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. Surprised that <clears throat> the set of priest vestments are better for Muad'Dib. His magic goes way up. They are better. But once we upgrade the salvation robes, they probably won't be. So the next mission we're gonna do, let's check it out here. Oh, there's just a slay that. So that request is the Gleam of Heaven. I'm not even sure what that is. Nameless Terror, that one just has to happen by itself, I think. Cursed King's Belt. Ten macabre sculptures. Huh. Anyways. The Bloody Knuckle. I'm just looking at the rewards. The Golden Bastard. Obliter... A, a Neold Obliterate... Obliterate... Tricks. Whatever. Ten Cap Giant Fish. Yeah. 
mean, there's nothing really like. Let's go check the <clears throat> tavern's quest board and see if there's anything special over there. Because those were all just nothing unique or really that too interesting. No, none there. Okay. Many's the person comes to drink here, all bearing different tales. Let's go talk to Forneval and see what he has for sale. See if he's got another Wakestone shard, and then maybe we can get one complete Wakestone before we go out on a quest. Because if we die, we have nothing to <laughs> bring us back to life right now. Just realize that. But he should be up here in his little manse on the hill. Salvation and the Knight's Champion. The capital swirls with ill rumors. Forneval, Forneval, where are you? There he is, perfect. Stolen in front of you. Grand Sauron has seen its share of arisen. Most of them coarse as a common thief. It's a rare thing to find one whose feats earn the Duke's good graces. Any rarities to sell? He's always asked me for rarities, but I've never had any rarities to sell that I know of. The Maker's Finger, I'm definitely going to buy one of these times. So I'll wait till I have a little more gold. I don't want to spend, I mean, 445. I'd still have 145 gold left, which is really good. But, I mean, that's basically a one-shot kill arrow, from what I understand, but I've never used it. So I don't even know how to equip it. Um, but one day I will get it. Dragon's Gaze. Oh yeah, Fossil. It helps me find Wakestone shards. I never used that last time either. Yes, he has a new Wakestone shard. Just like I thought. Perfecto. That's why you always want to keep checking back in with him. Yeah, that's all he has. Rarities to sell. But now we have right. a full Wakestone, so if we die, we can completely come back. What are you doing? Mox a million. I'm better in the church, or around the church. Let's look around this really quick. So I've never checked this out. This city is a church as well. It'll be easier going searching this area now. Mm -hmm. Nowhere to really parkour around. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Oh, well, we can go down there though if we wanted to. Can we get up there? Sure can. Yeah, I don't know if we can get on top of the church. We can get up here on these castle walls. The ramparts. Ooh, way above the city here. That's instant death down there. Yeah, that's just so cool how they did all this. Oh, and there's a chest right up here. I didn't, I've never even ever got to this chest, guys. Leather chest guard. That's so cool. So if you just explore around, you can get enough stuff to make the game a lot easier for yourself in the beginning. I've never been on these ramparts before. In the ramparts we walk. I can see you all down there. They can't see me. <laughs> Let's go all the way up here and see how high we can get. Because as far as I know, this is the only way to get here. Well, I guess you... I guess all the way over there. The tops of those houses are pretty close to where we are right now. So... You could probably get up over there. Oh gosh. Oh, this chest looks special. Seeker's token. All right, whatever. No trespassing. <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen a sign in this game that says no trespassing. <laughs> you 
You probably can't jump out of the game. No. It's not like Skyrim. I might be able to carry a box over, though, and do it. Well. There's a good chance right here. Nope. But you can see Kassardis all the way over there. One can see the whole of the city from here. Good old harp spud. Wow, it's cool, guys. Look at us. Well, we're going to end the episode here with this awesome view of Grand Soren. Castle proper up there. Keep. I if we can get to that tower in the middle eventually. We can get all the way up there. That'd be cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Lucky. The channel's game on. We'll see you guys in the next episode. We're about halfway through the main quest here, and it's about to start getting exciting again. So, we'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.